This five-piece panorama was created during my Sitka Center for Art and Ecology residency. The medium is watercolor, acrylic, and gouache on aqua board panel, and each panel is 24 by 36 inches. During my time at Sitka, I was living under massive dripping moss-covered trees and surrounded by hordes of elk. I walked down to the Salmon River and watched seals and river otters swimming past. The winter ocean waves were huge and everything was moist. The imagery in these five panels was influenced by the Oregon coast and temperate rainforests in general, and specifically by the wet months. The titles of the panels from left to right are Pteridopsida, Helicoidea, Fistulina, Detritivore, and Didelphus. All the panels together are titled Eumidulus, which means damp or wet. Each panel works on its own or combine with the other panels. I've always felt drawn to possums with their curly tails, their funny hair, their slow doofusy mannerisms. Um, I've always loved painting nasturtiums. I think they're some of the most beautiful plants around and we have had a lot of both nasturtiums and possums in our yard over the years. And sometimes my idea for a painting is just as simple as wanting to see what happens when I randomly combine some of my favorite things. These two paintings work individually or together. On the left is Heidi and on the right is Herwig. The medium is watercolor acrylic and gouache on aqua board panel and each panel is 24 by 36 inches. Both of these paintings were created after a trip that I took to the Big Island of Hawaii. Strongyladon is the title of the left side panel. Uh, Strongyladon is the scientific name of the jade vine found growing wild in the Hawaiian Islands. And I once happened upon one out in the woods north of Hilo on the Big Island, and it was one of the most bizarre marvelous plants I've ever seen. It was like a hundred electric teal colored parrot beaks dangling really far down from this tall tree in the jungle. It's just super surreal. Eupithecia is the title of the right side panel. Eupithecia is a type of small carnivorous caterpillar. Almost all other caterpillars in the world eat leaves, occasionally seeds and flowers, but this one eats their creatures. Uh, and this, the Eupithecia guy, can be seen in the lower middle of the panel just above the toad's head, and he's eating a moth. And slightly to the upper right of the Eupithecia caterpillar is the bat flower, Taka chantrieri? I don't know how to say that. Um, which is sometimes also called cat's whiskers, Jew's beard, or voodoo flower. Um, side note, during researching caterpillars for this painting, I learned a strange fact, and that is that there is one kind of moth caterpillar found in the southeast United States, which feeds exclusively on the shells of dead gopher tortoises. Part of the enjoyment of making a painting for me is learning new stuff, during the research process, whether those things end up making it visually into the final piece or not. These two paintings work individually or together. 
The medium is watercolor acrylic and gouache on aqua board panel and each panel is 24 by 36 inches. Some of the plants in here are things that I grow in my yard. Others are ones that I've seen on travels and some are slightly made up. Nacreous, the title of the snake panel on the left, is defined as consisting of or resembling mother of pearl, having a play of lustrous rainbow colors, an iridescent oil slick, or a milky opalescent luster. Bodleia globosa, the title of the right side panel, refers to the plant in the upper right that's covered in fuzzy little orange puffballs. The tall plant with the red flowers and the butterfly on it is monarda, or bee balm, which I grow every year to attract hummingbirds in my garden. The imagery here is roughly inspired by Lansu Chinese Garden in Portland, Oregon, which is one of my favorite spots for peaceful, beautiful, classic garden enjoyment. Uh, Incarnata is a type of passion vine, and I think I was looking at a lot of vintage art deco perfume packaging when I painted the gold decorative elements along the sides. This painting is called Incarnata. It's 12 by 12 inches, and the medium is watercolor acrylic and gouache on aqua board panel.